Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to part four. And in this uh, part, we were going to... Um, we're going to plot two straight lines on the axis, the Cartesian plane, X, Y, two-dimensional plane, and, well, see if we can graphically intersect them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that there as the standalone one there, and I'm just going to... Um, move or copy, create a copy, and we'll move to the end, that one there, and I'm going to call that, rename that, I'm just going to call that intersection, intersection, like that there, there it is, and now we're on that one, and this one here is just exactly the same, but, um, I'm going to call it uh, intersecting straight line graphs. Or at intersecting, oh yeah, straight line graphs. Intersecting straight line graphs and just um, here I'm just in brackets I'm going to put simultaneous equations okay simultaneous equations because that's um, well, these are a form of simultaneous equation. Uh, the intersection of two intersecting straight line graphs. Y equals mx plus c is our, you know, straight line. And so what I'm going to do is try and put another graph on um, on this grid. So, um, but before I do that, I just noticed that in the last one, I forgot to uh, name this here as the x-axis. Uh, X. So there you go. That's that done. Oops. Let's say put that there. Maybe just move it. Uh, move it. Um, maybe a little bit. A uh, little bit. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. X axis. Y axis. Right, um, so the graph, I've, I've carefully selected two graphs so that they have a nice even intersection point. So I'm just going to call this first one here 3x plus 1, like so. So this is, uh, that's there. So what I'm going to do is move the chart here. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Control Z. Uh, move the whole thing over, just over there a bit. And then I'm going to duplicate a another one of the of these here but before i do that i'm going to um rename this so the, the, each graph will have a different gradient so i'm going to rename this one here m1 just to there and we're going to go into the font here and make that subscript okay and this one c1 okay and put a one there Select it and then go into the font here and um, subscript that as well. Okay, and that's it there. And then these, we've just remember these variables here. So that's M and that's um, C. So, um, right, so what I'm going to do is just duplicate this here. Um, Control C, uh, Control V, and so now we need to just get these to the um, so they're, they're they're the same, I guess. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so that there is uh, format column width is 15. So we'll make these both 15 as well. Uh, these are formatting decisions. Um, possibly 15 is a bit is a bit too much. But there, at least they are the same. And then this one here, I'm going to call M2. Oops. Oh, where's the middle? Um, I'll see. It might not work. I might have to redo it uh, like this. Yep. I don't know what happened to the one, but anyway. Um, two. Uh, yeah, just deletes it all together, unfortunately. Uh, subscript. Okay, all right. Now this formula here will have to change because if we click on uh, the formula there, you can see that it's um, referring to... Uh, cancel, I don't know what that is. It's referring to these ones here and we want it to refer refer to these ones here so um it's going to need a bit of an edit so y equals m oh now i'm going to have to name these first so i've decided that i'll name this one m m m m and that's not what i want to name i want to name the input so here i want to name that there um, I made that mistake previously. M M enter, and yep, that's named. And this one here, I'm going to call this the triple C. One, two, three. Enter, and that's done there. So now in the formula, uh, we have to change this here to M M, and this here to. Um, C, 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 enter. So uh, the graph that I have carefully chosen there is minus 2 uh, X plus 6. Okay, so that'll uh, there. Now, as you can see, that other graph is um, still over there. We can probably move the chart back now, like so. Uh, oh, yes, we have to update the formula here as well so um, so that's got to um, right and instead of M we want M M right and instead of C Y we want C C C Enter. And all right. So what have we got? Oh, where did we put it? Ah, it's M M. No, it's M M, but it's not C C C. Enter. Is that better? All right. M M. So I'll just copy this down here like that. Okay, so let's just check uh, negative 2. So let's go at 0. It's crossing at 6. That's good. And um, so negative 2, yeah, that, that looks about right. So that's all good. Right, now we come over here to the graph and chart design. And we want to select some data. So we want to add a series here. And the series name is... Um, that there, yep, and then we want to uh, edit the data, the X series, just keep it the same, I, I think I've read somewhere, uh, so that it, that makes it all, all good there, and uh, keep editing, and then for the Y values, I'm just going to put it here. Okay, something's not going too good here. Mm. 
and the Y series should be there. Okay, okay. And uh, there's our um, two graphs um, there. Now, we probably need a little bit of adjustment here. Uh, move that up in there. Um, I want to add a, a legend, maybe, because um, uh, obviously the title. So I want the legend at the top. Okay, there like that. Um, I don't want the, um, I can see I've got an access title, chart title. I won't have one of those. I'll let the, the legend at the top do the business. Oops. Uh, this y-axis needs to be moved uh, here. Uh, damn it. Um, um, what do we got? Uh. Okay, so there's a bit of going to be a bit of fiddling around here. Okay, there's the y axis now. I'll just move that out of the way, and then we'll move this here back into the way. Back there, so maybe in the middle. Okay, yeah, pretty much. So we can see what the orange one is there. Okay, and then the y axis can move back up in here. Okay, like so, and the x axis is all there. There's our two graphs, and you can see that they're intersecting at the point one four. One four is where they're intersecting. Uh, let's drop this down. Uh, maybe just um, reduce a little size of it. Oh, this take this out. That'll give it. So there we go. Um, oh, hundred percent. Oh yeah, it's all good. Um, so yeah, there's there's our two intersecting graphs. They're different colours, and we can see that they intersect at the point. 1, 4, let's go X and Y, and uh, there you go, uh, two intersecting graphs, you can uh, change them around if you want, uh, make that uh, negative 1, and make that 1, and make this one here 1, and that one 1, and you can see, there you go, two graphs like that, but um, we'll put them back um, no, I haven't done much data validation on this, so there will be situations, well, hmm, we'll have to um, work on that. So um, that's our graphical solution uh, there uh, for this one, and I've chosen good values. So um, obviously there's various um, things that we can uh, do here. Um, you know, to improve and make it better and to cover off situations where perhaps there's no solution. But at this stage, you know, we're just uh, in there uh, like this. So, um, yeah, um, I'm uh, pretty happy with that. Um, so there's our uh, intersection. We can um, sort of plot any uh, the intersection of graphs. Oh, that should be up there like that. So, yeah, perhaps I do need to. Drop it down there. It's intersecting straight line graphs, simultaneous equations. So that's our input, y equals 3x plus 1, and so and so there like that. So, um, yeah, I think that's um, probably enough for me. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quietly happy with that. Yeah, bloody marvellous.